Hey folks, Rob here, welcome back to the journal. In a recent video I did about Airshow still working for iOS 10, Alspa asked the very good question about whether video still works for iOS 10. And since this is an equal opportunities iOS screen recording tech channel, I thought I'd go and test it. So just before we download video, just to prove that we are on iOS 10.0.1, there we are. And I'm going to download video from the Tweetbox location, a unofficial app store, which I've talked about in previous videos. You can just go to apps here, scroll down to Tweetbox apps and then video. And with any look, when I press install app and then install, it should put itself on the iPad, which I'm using today. Forget about those three versions of Airshow. Uh, I do a lot of testing with Airshow and that's why I need so many versions. Anyway, we're talking about video in this video. I'm going to say video a lot in this video, obviously. And uh, we have the usual untrusted enterprise developer error, but we should be able to fix that by going to general settings, scrolling down to profile and device management. And it was asset development certificate, trust, red trust, that should get video running. So on iOS 10, we can still see that video does work. Now, I've been a bit of a critic of video in the past as it tends to do some weird stuff when it's recording. It says that it can do device audio and iPad microphone recordings, but either way, when you actually do a recording, and I'm just going to show you here, it doesn't actually output the speaker noise to your iOS device, so it's very difficult to play games. It also does this weird thing where when you start recording, it goes to lands uh, portrait mode and you kind of have to jiggle about with your device until it eventually kicks back into landscape mode so that you can record it in that orientation. But anyway, we'll go to airplay mirroring and then start the recording. It should give me a beep, which it did. So now it's recording the screen, however, if I go to a game such as Clash of Clans, I've got the speakers on at the moment and you can't hear anything and neither can I because it's not recording the audio. Well, it is recording the audio, but it's not outputting the audio. So any gameplay noises are just simply not going to work. So that's my criticism of video, but this is proof that it does work on iOS 10. And and I know that some people have been using video as the alternative to Airshow, which they've been having problems with, which is fair enough. I appreciate and understand that different people are having different experiences because the iOS screen recording market is so fractured on iOS devices. Anyway, we'll go to the playback and see what actually was recorded. So there's a recording and I can't hear anything. There you go, you can hear the recording now, but there's also some weird playback issues in that it's not showing the video at all. So let me just go and back a little bit and start playing again. So it has synced up, so you can hear the noises now, but I couldn't hear them while I was playing. So really, for me, that's not fit for purpose. Anyway. That's the proof that it does download on iOS 10 and it does work on iOS 10 and then you have your uh, personal experiences with video which I've now documented. Thanks for watching, if you do have any questions pop them in the comments below otherwise enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.